for you, and one for you. If only everyone were this easy. Hello, and welcome to Decor It Yourself. I don't know about you, but my head is spinning with all the gifts that I have to make, buy, and wrap. <laughs> One staple you can never go wrong with is a homemade stocking. You can customize it for your special someone and hand make it with love. For my stocking, I'm doing a woodland forest scene, as that is my theme for this holiday season. First, you have to make a stocking pattern. You can download a template from the Threadbanger blog. Now, take out your outer shelf fabric, fold it in half right sides together, and pin your pattern on top. Cut around the pattern for your two exterior pieces. Next, place those pieces on top of the interior liner fabric, right sides together. Pin them down and cut around them. Now you're going to sew around the outer perimeter of the stocking, making sure you keep the top open so you can turn it right side out. Once sewn, turn it right side out and press the seams. Now, press the top seam in, pin it together, and sew it shut. Repeat all those steps for the second side of the stocking. Next, we're going to make an applique, so take out some contrasting fabric and iron some fusible interfacing to it. My applique is going to be this cute fawn, which can also be downloaded in template form from the Threadbanger blog. Just place your template on the interfaced fabric, pin, and cut it out. Pin it onto the front of your stocking where you want it, and sew it on. Take out a piece of ribbon, make a loop, and sew it to the other side of the stocking. Now, place both sides of the stocking together, right sides together. Carefully pin along the perimeter, and sew along your pin line, making sure not to sew the top closed. Next, just turn it right side out, press the edges, and voila! You have a handmade stocking. Doing it this way means it's reversible, so you get two designs in one. If you don't have a fireplace and mantle like me, then you can hang your stocking on a found branch hung by a ribbon as featured in apartment therapy. When we come back, I'll give you a gift guide that will save you time, money, and stress this holiday season. Welcome back, my little elves. Get out your reusable tote bags. Here is my gift guide for 2009. For the host or hostess, these roost hand-carved wooden bottle openers come in a menagerie of designs. For a great stocking stuffer, try making your own cookies. Tamara Davis has a tasty gingerbread man recipe over on Hungry Nation. For the artist, a subscription of 25 colored pencils for 25 months from Social Designer is a cool and useful gift. For the home decor lovers who can't paint their walls, I adore these Pantone mugs that have color samples of their best paints. And for the coffee drinker on the go, lessen their daily footprint with a reusable I am not a paper cup from Design Warehouse. For just about anyone, these adorable sleeping and hooting owls from Prince of Thieves are perfect. For the small fry in your life, have a custom growth chart made by Inklore to track their height. Another idea for the little tykes is giving your favorite classic book, like Where the Wild Things Are, The Giving Tree, and The Little Prince. And lastly, for your boo who loves the bling, I love this Cambridge Chain and Gold by Etsy's Yoku. For more to give this year, check out the 75 Handmade Gift Ideas video Corinne made earlier this week. And all Threadbangers get 20% off of my entire shop, Enderby Designs, if they add DIY in a combo. Thanks so much for watching, happy holidays, and remember, your nest needs you.